So EGR removal, is it something that's worth doing? What are the pros and cons of taking the EGR off a car? So most modern cars now come with an EGR. Manufacturers have done this to meet the emissions regulations and requirements. So they're quite popular devices, but there's a lot of people slagging them off. A lot of people hate them. So we're just going to look at the benefits and the drawbacks of removing the EGR system from your car. So what are the advantages of having an EGR system on your car? Well, you might, if you believe the rumors, just think they're all bad news and there are no pluses whatsoever. But manufacturers have designed them. They've built these into systems to meet the emissions regulations. So you're helping the environment. You're hugging trees just by having an EGR cooler on your car. So I know most of our viewers aren't that interested in saving the environment. Their top priority is generally getting the maximum performance from the car. So it also boosts your fuel economy to a certain extent. So think of it as well as something that's improving those miles per gallon. Not massively, not that noticeably, but there is that aspect to it that you need to consider if you're removing it. So the EGR system is dumping a little bit of exhaust gases into the intake. It helps to lower the combustion temperatures within the engine. So so if you remove the EGR system from your car and it's been there to reduce the emissions that were coming out of the engine and clean it up and you're no longer having that system in place, you may fall foul of your local requirements which can put you in line to having a citation or a fine or having your car impounded or confiscated. So that's not really a situation you want to be in for the sake of it. But if you check your local regulations and you've got the option of removing the EGR system, then certainly go for it. Another dis advantage to removing the EGR system is generally the cost. A lot of people just think you can turn it off in software and that's fine, but you do need to do a physical mod, blank it off at the very least. And the best way of doing it really is to remove all of the EGR system, the EGR pipework, and to get the software properly adjusted. So it will cost you money to get the work done. You'll also be paying out slightly more for fuel in order to run this engine that does no longer have an EGR system attached to it. Well, a lot of people blame the EGR system for causing carbon to build up on those intake valves. And that certainly is a problem, but the biggest culprit is generally the PCV, the positive crankcase ventilation system, which is emitting the oily vapors that come out of the engine crankcase into the intake and that's forming a nice surface for the carbon coming out of the exhaust to bed into and to go rock hard and to start forming carbon in the engine. So if you've got carbon buildup and you want to avoid it, just taking the EGR off the car is not good enough. You also need to address the PCV and there are still no guarantees that you will have completely eliminated the risk of having carbon buildup on the intake. So is there a performance advantage to removing the EGR? Well, I have to be honest here and say not really the EGR system is not robbing you of substantial amounts of power. So some people have reported a faster pickup on a turbo engine where the EGR system has been removed. That's primarily due to the fact the exhaust flow is freer the EGR system, the pipework, would add a little bit of extra turbulence or back pressure to the exhaust. Again, not noticeably, there's probably a big placebo effect going on here. So please let us know in the comments if you've had this done and if you considered it to be a performance mod. I'd be really interested to hear your experiences. Let me know what car you've got and what engine it is because they're all factors that I need to take into account, especially when making recommendations to other people on this channel. So really do appreciate all of your feedback. So please boot that like button if you haven't done so already because that helps us to get out there. Your comments really do also help the algorithm to pick up on us as a channel and again send more people to watch our videos so we can grow and if we can grow we can invest a little bit more money in our production of these videos for you. Please subscribe if you haven't done so because we'd love you to stay tuned and I've lined this little video up for you that you should find interesting so thank you so much for watching.